Hi guys! Salamat sa inyong patuloy na ginagawang pagsubaybay sa ating discussions about statics of rigid bodies. At ngayon ay uh, meron akong inihandang problem na kinuha ko mula sa isang libro ni Singer at siyang gusto kong i-share sa inyo ang problem na ito. Ito ang problem guys. The 400 pound weight is suspended from the compound pulley as shown in the figure. Find the smallest force P exerted by the hydraulic cylinder on the lever to keep the pulley at rest. The coefficient of friction at the brake surface is 0.4. So yung libro na, yung problem na kinuha ko sa libro ay merong sagot na okay, magnitude ng P na 2,100. Ito yung illustration guys, ano, kung titignan natin, uh, ano ba yung working mechanism nito? Ganito ang mechanism ng ating A problem guys, ano. So, itong compound pulley nito that supports a 400 pound weight, okay, has a tendency to rotate in the counterclockwise direction. Yun ay because of this weight. And the rotation of this uh, a compound pulley is held or is being prevented by this lever na kung saan itong lever ay pinupull nitong hydraulic uh, cylinder nito. And we are, we are required to determine the magnitude of the force in order to prevent the rotation of the compound pulley in the counterclockwise direction. Kaya nga ito yung analysis, ano? Sabi nga, kasi, sabi nga dito, because of the 400 pound weight, the tendency of the compound pulley is to rotate in the counterclockwise direction. And its rotation is being prevented by the frictional force developed between the pulley and the lever and whose direction must be to produce a clockwise moment about the center of the pulley. Kinakailangan kasi mag-produce ng clockwise moment kay yung force na ina-exert itong lever kay against the pulley. In order for that rotation of the pulley in the counterclockwise prevented. So, kinakailangan sa problem ito no, ay ma-drawing natin ng tama ang ating uh, uh, parts ano, para maunawaan natin kung paano i-apply yung tinatawag natin conditions of equilibrium in solving the problem. So, ipakita natin yung illustration niya sa pamagitan ng pagpapakita ito. No? So, ipapakita ko lang sa inyo yung uh, drawing kong illustration para maipakita natin yung mga force na mag act Okay? So, makikita nyo dito sa illustration na ito, ito yung P na ina-exert nitong ating cylinder. Ano? And this force, 400, yun naman yung force na nanggagaling dito sa weight na ito. So, kapag magdo-drawing tayo, huwag natin kalilimutan ano, na ipakita yung mga dimensions ng bawat forces na nag act dun sa mismong sistema natin. Para When we isolated the parts or member or structure, so makita natin, madali natin may apply yung condition of equilibrium ng forces. So ipakita natin and we try to isolate the free body diagram of the pulley and the lever. So ibig sabihin na kailangan paghiwari natin itong pulley na ito mula sa lever o yung lever mula sa pulley. And we try to do it this way. So ipakita natin, so na-isolate na natin yan. So this now becomes the free body diagram of the pulley whereas this one is the free body diagram of the lever. Kinakailangan may ipakita natin ano ba yung mga points na importante in the free body diagram. So let us consider this point as our point A. Yun yung point A natin, di ba? Yun yung center ng pulley. At this point na kung saan the pulley is in contact with the lever, let us define this point as point B. And we expect that this point B is being Uh, acted by a force coming from this lever. So, ipakita natin yan at tawagin natin siya na normal force. And, of course, this B can also be found here kasi being point there, ito rin yung point B na kung saan yun namang lever is in contact with the pulley. Kaya meron din dito dapat na force na nag act at tawagin natin siyang N. Itong N na ito, yung tinatawag natin action and reaction forces coming from each other. This one is the force exerted by the lever upon the pulley. While this one is the force exerted by the pulley 
upon the lever and they must be equal and oppositely directed. Now, may pakita natin yung direction ng frictional force na mag-aak dito sa pulley, kinakailangan ma-define natin. Ano ba yung direction ng motion ng pulley with respect to the lever? So, kung paano gagalaw itong pulley with respect to the lever? So, we have to show that para ma-define natin ano ang magiging direction ng ating frictional force. So, ipakita natin, ha? So, kung yung pulley ay magro-rotate in the counterclockwise direction sa pagkatwin, ito yung direction ng impending motion. Ano? The direction of the impending motion. So, makatwid, the force exerted or the frictional force exerted by this lever upon the pulley must be opposite the direction of this impending motion at that point of tangency. So, if this is the point of tangency and this is the direction of the motion, hence, the direction of the frictional force that is exerted by this lever upon the pulley must be directed okay, in this direction to okay, uh, resist the direction of the motion of the pulley and this must be our frictional force similarly because the lever is exerting a force upon the pulley in this direction we would expect that this force is also this lever this pulley is also exerting a force upon the lever in the opposite direction at the same point of their contact so if this is the point where the lever is in contact then similarly this to dito sa point nito dapat meron ding force na nag-exert ang pulley upon the lever and this is also okay, our F. Now, if we're going to look at this uh, isolated view of okay, the pulley but the pulley we can compute for the magnitude of F. Yeah, we can compute for the magnitude of okay, uh, force or frictional force developed at B if we will be summing up moments about A. So, if we're going to sum up moment about A, what are those moments that we will have? It will have, it will, we will have the moment due to this 400 and the moment due to the frictional force being exerted by the lever upon the pulley. And if we are to sum up that moment, the summation must be equal to zero. So that, we will sum up moment about A equal to zero and then consider that a counterclockwise moment as positive. Therefore, we can solve for okay, the force, the frictional force exerted by the lever upon the pulley at point B. And that our equation becomes 400 multiplied by the moment arm of 15. And this will be positive, I'm sorry, yeah, positive because the direction of the moment that will be produced by 400 is in the counterclockwise direction. This will be counteracted by the moment due to the frictional force and whose moment arm shall be the diameter of the larger pulley. And that is equal to 20. That's why I have here Okay, minus F multiplied by 20 and that is equal to 0. And so from here, we can solve the value of F to be equal to 300 pounds. And if after computing for the value of F, we can now compute for the magnitude of the normal force exerted by the lever upon the pulley from the formula. Okay, we will, from the formula that the frictional force is equal to the coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal force we already have computed for the frictional force and we are given the coefficient of friction to be 0.4 and so therefore we can solve for n by substituting the value that is equal to 300 shall be equal to 0.4 multiplied by n and therefore n shall be equal to 750 pounds now after computing for the magnitude of f and n as the frictional force exerted by the lever and the normal force exerted by the lever upon the pulley, then we're going to consider the free body diagram of the lower part of the lever. That is, considering that, we can compute for the magnitude. Okay, compute. Because the magnitude of F shall be equal to this 300 and the magnitude of N shall be equal to 750 as we have okay, shown as computed a while ago. Now, if we're going to compute for okay, the moment about C, knowing that this point is our C, then we can solve for the magnitude of the uh, of the force exerted by the hydraulic cylinder at the lever. Now, taking moment about C equal to zero and considering that counterclockwise moment as positive, then we shall have the moment equation such that N multiplied by 48, where is this N? This is our N, and the moment arm shall be the sign, sum of 32 and 16 from C. And this is equal to 48. And this is count counterclockwise with respect to C. So therefore, the moment shall be positive. Minus F, this one, 
will be producing a clockwise moment about C and whose moment term is 8. Therefore, that's equal to F multiplied by 8 minus P multiplied by 16 because the location of the hydraulic cylinder from C is equal to 16 and producing a clockwise moment about C. And all of this must be equal to 0. If you are going to substitute the value of N, which is computed to be okay, 750, and the value of F, which is computed to be at okay, 300, therefore we can okay, have the equation to be 750 multiplied by 48 minus 300 multiplied by 8 minus P multiplied by 16 shall be equal to 0. And from here, we can solve the value P to be 210 pounds. Yun guys, ang sample problem na pinakita ko sa inyo, yung application ng okay, principle or concept of friction in solving problems in statics of rigid bodies. I hope guys that you are able to follow the solution that I have presented to you and you will also okay, continue following my discussion by subscribing to this channel. Once again, thank you very much for watching.